Hey there, signs of cancer. Hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. We are going to get started with the archetype deck. Um, to find some overall energies. Um, if you do want a private reading, by the way, I do those for donations. So check out the box below to get that information. And Cancer. Next 48 hours, please, Spirit, calling in Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power to get some messages. That's for their highest good. And I think I have shuffled probably pretty darn good. Let's see. Whoop. Okay, the lover. Hmm. Cancer, cancer, the queen. Kind of like Empress energy here. And the box. Something about your expectations here um, with the box. I don't, I think you, there's a need to think outside the box for um, maybe some non-traditional solutions to some kind of issue that you have going on with either a partnership with like an empress energy. It's the mother energy. The, the queen here is the energy of being lucky, being successful, being very successful, actually. So it, instead of just manifesting a little bit, you're going to manifest enough for a whole town. It's it's a very um, strong, powerful energy. And there's a lot of creative ways that you can use the energy of the empress. So I think that's why it's saying don't limit yourself by looking to what you feel like should fit in a box. Maybe something doesn't look, um, maybe something doesn't look like something about your expectations, something about your expectations. And I, I mean, I, I see these energies as good though. I don't, I don't feel like something failed expectations. It's not that. There's just this border, this harsh border I see on the box and it's like, limiting beliefs truly of how magical I feel like this ch big choice could make your life especially with the Empress energy all right well, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna just jump right into the reading I'm gonna do a Celtic cross general Celtic cross for you um yeah, let's see if we can figure out more about this lover, the queen, and the box. For our signs of Cancer. Cancer, what is the issue? What's going on, in Spirit, with the issue for Cancer? What's going on? What is their issue? Trying to get news of something. Trying to get news of something or expecting news, something financial, I feel. This could be children too. We could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Needing more information, something about the money, something about the investment. Because something is definitely needed when the emperor is in reverse. It's like half of the equation is not going right when I see that. Now, what does that mean yet? We're going to have to figure out some more information. Can we talk about an Aries that's just not present in your life? That's also what I take to be, um, you know, reverse major arcana like that. So let's look at the past energy. What is the past energy for Cancer? Having strength, maybe a uh, Leo, maybe Leo. Maybe an Aquarius that's not present, energy of an Aquarius that's not present, or or this is something about how in the past you were really brave, strong, courageous, and you tried to attain your goals. And thinking of that that phrase, a day late and a dollar short. 
I don't know why, but that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking of. Really strong cards here. Strength, star in reverse, emperor in reverse. If these are characters, maybe they're two characters that uh, usually represent people that you would like to be stable in your life and they're not at the moment. Or this is about something with your hopes and dreams just didn't quite come to fruition. Maybe shook up the foundation quite a bit. And what's the present present information that we can get on their situation for cancer? Wow. Wow. Nice hope. The page of cups. That's my hope card. And we have nine of cups, three of wands, and the queen of swords for the present situation. Presently, you're manifesting your dream and you're very focused. You're very focused on what you want, what your target is. You're willing to cut out things as necessary to get this wish, something that you're really wanting. Uh, it's almost like somebody's going to, not somebody, I think this is your energy, your energy manifesting this. This is really good. This is really good. Queen of Swords can have the tendency to appear like very stoic and sometimes um, cold, but I think that's just really the finding ability to sniff out the truth and cut out uh, what she doesn't need. And then we have King of Wands. So this is something that I feel like in the near future is being built upon and successfully, because I look at the King of Wands very similar to the emperor that many choices, many decisions on either how you want to build, what you want to build, what you want to uh, place your focus into right now. Um, big choices, big choices coming up. And I always think choose wisely. Big choices, choose wisely. Could be a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, but it's something that's being built cancer that is really um, quite lovely. It's going to be very successful. We've got King of Wands energy and the Empress energy. Hmm. Okay, so let's go a little bit further. What are the external, the external situations? <laughs> Look at, did you see that? Justice, the Justice card. Okay, maybe that's what this is about. Maybe somebody didn't get a very good foundation or didn't get justice in some kind of matter of authority of who's in charge, who's in control. It, it's almost like they're mirroring each other right here, if that's what it feels like. It could be Libra. There could be a situation that you're mirroring in your life that wasn't fair in another way and in some other situation, it's like karmically not balanced again. But this is about getting balance, balance and truth, bringing that to the situation. Telling the whole truth. Coming out of a heartache feeling for your hopes and fears. Coming out of heartache, that, that would be the hope. And hopefully that this justice ended up being weighed out evenly for you. Whatever you're going after with that Queen of Swords energy is really, it is going to achieve justice and give you many options to build something great. Okay, what is the projected outcome here for Cancer? What is the outcome or projected outcome for Cancer? We have four cups. Uh, uh, that's, that's all right. Let's go, let's go a little bit further. Four cups and... Something that you thought maybe was um, a soulmate energy or something like that. Something that you're coming out of. Something like a completion. You're needing to wrap this up because this is complete rebirth. Going into yourself, meditating, finding answers within investing in yourself, building your power up, reclaiming power, trying to get a new beginning because something about a soulmate energy either feels like it didn't work or there's issues or problems with the family and there needs to be a new chapter to address this. 
Any more information about this outcome? Any more information? What is this six cups in reverse about? Cancer? Oh, goodness. Queen of Wands. Wow. Hangman and Queen of Pentacles. High Priestess. Somebody that's really, really in tune with their intuition. Um, this either a person or this might be you thinking inside internally about what to do getting a little bored and content a discontentment feeling right here so i feel like you leave the situation your challenge would be to get that knight of pentacles you're still waiting on the pentacle part but as far as like being in charge of yourself and being bold and inspirational that would be the queen of wands energy and definitely um having some good intuition success we have leo highlighted again <clears throat> excuse me with the sunflower representing the sun abundance success it's a waiting game there's something about this that's a waiting game but you know what i feel like it's saying this personality this a role that you're going to step into will lead to ultimately this queen of pentacle energy so it's like really um grounded really grounded really uh big about keeping the status quo they like their luxury life like the way to live luxuriously they know how to live they know how to get the best or want for the best and and you do get it if you're the queen of pentacles there's just Something about this Queen of Wands energy coming out of you that's definitely going to spring something into motion. There's still some waiting, and waiting kind of stinks sometimes. Definitely some more information about this money issue. Ooh, and a Passionate New Beginning thing. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, and the Lover's card. Hmm. These are about big choices. Passionate passionate new beginnings coming out of what feels like a rest still needing some healing some healing is still needed to be done that's why we have this hangman energy before you really get what you want you see what I'm saying? and then you have to stand up for ourselves that's part of gaining our power back is defending ourselves with the seven of wands but Ace of Wands and the Lovers just makes me feel like something brand new is coming. I feel like something brand new is coming. It has to do with this rebirth. It has to do with transforming into these. Sorry, it's such a mess. But it has to do with transforming into these energies that are really great. I'm actually going to put these up. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're never going to go back to all of those. Let's move on. Let's get some different cards. Let's pull some Oracle now. We will clarify as we go. Let's get some epif the Epiphany cards and secret signs and symbols. And we're going to combine both of those guys. So let's see for Cancer. What do you have for Cancer? A reconcil reconciliation is coming. Reunion, mending the ways, mending the ways. Whoa, <laughs> I think that's way too much. Hang on. Ready, willing, and able. We are divine counterparts. Ready, willing, and able. We are divine counterparts. Let's see what is on the floor. Uh-oh. So let's say, didn't I hit that camera? It felt like I hit that. So what was on the floor? Social media got me in trouble. Letter in a bottle. Unspoken words. Love notes. Ready, willing, and able with the divine counterparts. Hard to say goodbye. Hmm. Okay. Chameleon. Camouflage. Incognito. Adaption. Nike sneakers. Runner. Chaser. Avoidant. To dodge. 
then like I said, we have a reconciliation. Maybe that's what is able, maybe what you're able to do or are doing. Camera, nostalgia, replay, old pictures. Dice, gambler, risk taker, and a stuntman. Hawk, keen eyesight, observation, and watching. Witch, spell work, black magic, and oh, chocolate cupcake. Tasty treat, unexpected surprise, an unexpected surprise. Huh. Something about something that, I mean, there, there's an issue here about something someone wants to say to you or maybe what you're wanting to say to somebody else. Something feels like it's a particular burden to carry. Some of this uh, energy feels like a burden. And maybe it's still holding on to some memories that feels like a burden. Okay, let's see what this... Um, letter in a bottle is about or social media to land on landed on all of them walking away unspoken words are look i gotta get away i don't really like this i don't like this i don't like what i'm seeing i feel like something's disastrous i know i haven't said it but now i'm saying it i'm leaving that's what that sounds like and I, this could be career okay this could be relationship either one we do have the ace of pentacles to do with social media we have chocolate oh look at that chocolate cupcake tasty tree unexpected surprise with the temperance in reverse meaning that it is time it's it's um no more patience is needed because divine timing is at play here and it is time it is time all will be revealed don't worry all will be revealed what's up with this witch people what is up with the witch Two swords. She has, I noticed the swords there. Two of swords. Keen eyesight. Observation. Witch. Black magic or spell work. What else? Two of swords, you know, coming to a stalemate. Look at that. Two, two. Oh, coming to a stalemate. Can't make a decision. So some of you are dealing with a partnership that you're just walking away from. That you might be walking away from. Um, there may be something that you're going back to at the same time that I say that. Not sure if this reconciliation is something for, it might be something for work. It doesn't really have to be relationship, but maybe this is about somebody wanting to work on something with you. Okay, I don't, I feel like if we took a gamble, we haven't gotten the good news that we wanted yet. So... The focus, okay, the focus, the attention. Where's the focus? Maybe that's what the issue is, Cancer. Maybe it's that, maybe you don't know what to focus on right now or what needs to take priority, like in what you're thinking. Okay, let's get some more cards. We have eight of one, so big time communication. Communication coming. Maybe you were on the phone with somebody. Maybe it was hard to say goodbye. Oh, wow. The Empress energy. Just the, up there with the Queen. We have it twice now in our reading. The Empress energy. Creating something really solid and stable. A brand new beginning for you. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. And a rebirth. There's a really big rebirth coming in with your um, finances. <laughs> Look at this. Nine of Cups. I feel like with anything that you're really concerned about, finances, emotional, like all of those things, I think things are about to get a lot better for you. Let me take these back. I'm going to use them to clarify for some other cards. And then we're going to keep going. So brand, brand new chapter, enough waiting. Spirit saying you don't have to wait quite any more. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to leave these two out. I don't know why my, my table is shaking. Not good. We'll figure this out on the, when I get done. So let's pull some energy cards 
or you cancer we have anxiety coming out angel of love some kind of anxiety over maybe a love situation i mean yeah maybe it's a love situation anxiety Maybe anxiety towards a reconciliation too. That that would be very anxious. There are some hostilities here regarding either something that you have um, created. Either something that you've created or this love that for some reason there's some people that are not all for. Then we have the, this is like the queen of um, swords energy. The hierophant on the hostilities. Something going on on the partner front. And I think it's different stories for different people though. There's the empress again. Commitment, something going on with the mama card or the mom, Taurus, Capricorn possibly. See, what do we get? Okay, two of wands. Anxiety. The anxiety is stopping your focus. It's uh, putting blocks like in your focus. Your intuition will come through stronger and everything once you stop worrying. Get rid of that worry energy. Look, reasons why? Because there's hope coming in. Angel of love is here granting you your ten of cups too. So emotional fulfillment and I would say as well as um, material fulfillment here too. Anything else? <laughs> King of Pentacles, anxiety, maybe anxiety over uh, your pentacle situation, but look here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. <gasps> wow. Well, no wonder there's hostilities. You kind of have it all. Or you're about to have it all. There's hope that you're going to be in complete charge of everything you do and everything about your life. But when it comes to commitments and, um, you know, the actions of other people, we only can control what our reaction is, what our response is. Everything else, I feel like we really have under control. So something about getting more information with this Two of Cups energy. All right, so we're going to put this right here. I know it looks kind of messy, but your cards are all really great. Really great. Showing good things coming in. Let's move on. Different oracles. Let's get uh, some angel numbers for you. Okay, angel numbers for cancer. 22. About a partnership. A partnership or making choices, big choices. Maybe involving a Leo since I see the little lion head sticking out there. 26. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allow you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. Number 22, master number, you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. Oh, and then 12, really nice. I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you're able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. All right, guys, moving on, moving on. We're going to get a guardian angel card, and then we're going to get some tea leaves. And I think I'm going to wrap up your reading, Cancer. Pretty good reading. It's very, very powerful. I think you have all the kings. I don't know. Maybe not the king of swords, but man, you don't need that authority card because you've already got the authority in your life. You've got the control. This is a new adventure for you, for sure. And I think it has to do with the control, with taking back something. Aw, 
if you felt like you've lost your happiness, like it's gone for some reason, it's coming back. It's coming back. Get grounded. I feel like this is coming up because you're wanting to know what to do. Um, the angel of grounding is saying get grounded and, you know, you will be propelled forward. You will get more messages. Um, things will start manifesting how you want them to. It's this angel of grounding energy telling you you'll get your happiness back. Purse, pay attention your finances, heart, love, deep affection, and caring, boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals, wall, a misunderstanding, and leg, stepping into a new experience. And one more May. Wow. So listen, it's May. <laughs> it's a, it landed right on your angel of happiness. There's something that's going to happen soon for you that is going to kick in this happiness and bliss overdrive. So get yourself grounded because I have a feeling that this is going to lift you up. All right. So thanks, Cancer. Sending you all love and light. Join me for your next reading. You all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.